We're hearing some more um, of an emotional encounter between a murder suspect and his brother. That's right. Newly released video shows Grant Amato speaking to his brother shortly after their mom, dad, and their other brother were killed in their Chuliota home. News 6's Amanda Castro is live in the newsroom. And Amanda, Grant Amato denied having anything to do with killing his family. Yeah, Lisa, he didn't say much during that 16 minute recorded conversation at the sheriff's office, but he did say that he did not kill his parents or his brother. His attorney is arguing in court today that there is no evidence linking him to the crime. Grant Amato and his older brother Jason together in an interview room hours after their family was found dead inside their Chuliota home. Grant denying he had anything to do with the murders, but his brother didn't believe him. I need you to be honest with me, man. I need to have closure. Their parents and brother were found shot to death on January 25th. Deputies say Grant pulled the trigger. Records show he argued with his family in the days leading up to the murders because he stole $200,000 to send to a woman in Bulgaria he met on a porn site. Grant says their deaths had nothing to do with the woman, but he couldn't explain who would kill their family. I don't understand why it happened. I was taking my steps forward despite everything that I was supposed to do. Prosecutors released this video today in court. Grant Amato's attorneys arguing he should be released on bond, saying there's not enough evidence to hold him. The judge denying their request. His lawyer saying the state doesn't have a case. We still do not have any you know, forensic evidence that links him to this uh, crime. So um, we just have to proceed with what, what we have. It is purely circumstantial at this point. At the end of the 16-minute video, Jason hugs his brother, saying he still loves him. I'm going to pray for you, brother because I can't pray for mom, dad, and Cody anymore. Now, Grant Amato pled not guilty today in court. Also in that video, Jason Amato said that he doesn't think his brother deserves to go to jail, but he also doesn't want him sentenced to death. Last month, the state announced that it is seeking the death penalty. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6. Amanda, thank you.